lot of different shoulder injuries here at Caring Medical, and these cases are actually something that I've taken a special interest in in my practice, so I wanted to take the time to talk about a few of the most common shoulder injuries that we see here, and today I'm actually going to talk about the glenoid labral tear. So for those of you that might not know, the glenoid labrum is a ring of fibrocartilage tissue that just helps to deepen our shoulder joint. So if you look here on our model skeleton, we have the shoulder joint, we have our collarbone and our shoulder blade and our humerus, which is our upper arm bone, that all come together. What the labrum does is it actually is a ring of tissue that comes out here to help keep our humerus, or the head of the humerus here, more in place and to keep the joint more stable. When someone suffers a labral tear, most likely they, most likely they suffered it from one of three ways. One is they were doing some kind of activity and they fell and they put their arm out or kind of outstretched their hand to catch their fall. Well, this transmits the force up, moves the shoulder, excuse me, moves the humerus and can actually tear that labrum. A second way is if they just have a sudden kind of blow to the shoulder, whether it's from football, hockey, any other sport really, um, any kind of sudden blow can also tear that labrum. The third way is just kind of wear and tear from repetitive motion. So people that are carpenters, weight builders, even volleyball players that constantly are doing this can cause wear and tear on the labrum and also cause it to, t excuse me, can cause wear and tear on the labrum and cause a labral tear. When people come to Caring Medical for labral tears, usually they say kind of the same things. There's a lot of clicking, there's a lot of locking, even kind of clunking sounds in the shoulder, a lot of pain. Um, they might have even lost strength in their shoulder and it's just not as strong as their other side or they have less range of motion. Oftentimes they'll have pain if they're kind of brushing their hair, reaching up top, you know, for something on a top shelf, maybe even putting um, like their wallet in their back pocket. All these kind of things kind of point to a labral tear. So when patients come in uh, here at Caring Medical with shoulder injuries, we examine them give them a proper diagnosis, and then if they're a good candidate, we treat them with prolotherapy. Like I said, it's an injection technique. We use dextrose uh, to stimulate healing of injured structures, whether it's the ligaments, the tendons, or the labrum. We might also use something called PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma. That involves actually drawing out blood, spinning it in a centrifuge, and collecting all the platelets, growth factors, and a little bit of the plasma, which is kind of the water of your blood. We actually inject that back into the shoulder joint to help healing. It's a more aggressive approach um, than the standard dextrose treatment. PRP is, actually works really well for labral tears because it almost acts as glue to kind of glue the tear back down. We all know the saying, blood is thicker than water. Well, PRP, you know, a blood product, is a lot thicker than the dextrose solution, so it does work really well at kind of gluing those tears down. It also helps to stimulate healing of all the structures around the joint, like the ligaments and tendons, like I had mentioned before. Um, especially if someone has kind of an old injury. It's been a long going wear and tear. They've lost a lot of cells of their tendons, ligaments. PRP actually helps to kind of put those cells back in that place. Typically for a shoulder, we like to see patients four times. Um, each treatment is spaced about four to six weeks apart. And again, that depends on the severity of the case. Sometimes, you know, people do really well with three treatments. Sometimes it might take eight or nine, just depending on the complexity of the injury. Uh, but usually on average, we see patients about uh, four times. If you have a shoulder injury and just want to hear more information, uh, you can always visit our website or email us directly, and we can help you out.